So the, the Wheels event started in 2011 uh, by Peter Gilgan and some of the Mattamy Home Executives. And it was meant to where, uh, raise awareness and funds for the Darling Home for Kids. And it's been going on since then every year, um, even through COVID, we, we went virtual as most events did, but uh, we're back uh, in person this year. It's on June the 26th, Sunday, June the 26th. Uh, riders of all levels, uh, from beginners to more seasoned road riders are invited to come and uh, do one of the three routes. There's a 25 kilometer, a 50 kilometer and a 100 kilometer route. All three bring the riders to the home. So people get to see how their support, uh, where it's going and, and uh, it's, it's meant to help this great organization that's there to help uh, children with complex medical needs, as well as their families. Can you tell me, I mean, you've been part of this organization for a while now. Tell me, what is it, what does this organization mean to you and why do you continue to uh, be part of it? Uh, great question. I've, um, I started off as a writer um, and then I've, I've, had a chance to see the home in person. I've, I've actually gone to some open houses and, and gone inside and, and it's, it's, it, it helps so much, not only the children. I mean, I, as a father of three children myself, um, I'm always there to, to, you know, to help children, but it also helps families of these children. As you can imagine, uh, children with complex needs uh, require a lot of time and energy and, and finances. And these families, um, they, they, they get a, a bit of a reprieve uh, from the Darling Home for Kids. They, they help the, the families um, with their depression, with their uh, sense of isolation, with, their, um, with, their, with some of the finances as well. So th this is a great organization. It not only helps the children, but it helps their families as well. In terms of logistics, so uh, it's it's not too far away, uh, you know, um, how can people sign up? How can they participate if they can actually participate in the event itself? Can they still donate? Things like that. Yes, there's a there's a website. It's uh, ridewithwheels.ca. Um, at that website, you have uh, a couple of options. You can either join um, uh, a, a team or as an in individual and come out on the day and write the, uh, the one of those three courses, or you can donate to someone who has already uh, signed up for the event. Uh, and if you can't attend in person, but want to still support, you can also do it virtually. And, and you're encouraged to then go out on your own, do a, do a, a ride, a, a bike ride or run or a walk, and uh, and support the 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 home that way. Uh, there's over seventy thousand kids uh, in Ontario with complex uh, medical needs, and and your support helps so much. To round out our conversation really quickly, though, you know, there's so many fundraisers and events that go up go up particularly in the summertime, as we know. So if somebody watching right now and is trying to decide who to support and what. What would you say to them to convince them to sign up uh, uh, for this event? There are over 70,000 children in Ontario that are classified as uh, complex medical needs. And even though they represent only 1% of the pediatric population of Ontario, they're the ones who use our medical system the most. And the Darling Home for Kids is there to help these these children and their families. Uh, there isn't many places like the Darling Home for Kids. And so every dollar that um, is contributed to the home means so much. And, and over the years, the, this wheel events has helped raise over a million dollars. And that million dollars has gone towards uh, purchasing a wheelchair accessible van, therapeutic uh, gardens, a clubhouse, uh, expansion of the administrative space. It's, it's done so much for this home and, and for the children and the families that it supports.